Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Nat. Today we have a very, very cool card. I'm sorry, I don't know if you're gonna think it's really cool, but I personally think it's really cool, so we're just gonna go with that. Today I'm gonna use quite a few stamp sets. This stamp set with the talk bubbles, the we do change our sentiment a little bit because some grammar, and then I make my own grammar mistake in the sense of why I changed it. So this is an A4 piece of black cardstock. We're simply going to fold this in half. And just play around for some reason. I had issues with my folding. We're going to round the corners with a quarter of an inch corner chomper. We've got a piece of white cardstock and I'm just eyeballing where I want this to go. Um, over on my blog post I will try and give you uh, measurements for everything but at the moment I'm just eyeballing it. It's like yep that will do, that will do. So here's our corner jumper so we're using the quarter of an inch end of the corner jumper and we're going to do that to the black and the white cardstock. What I'm doing here I don't think you you may you probably haven't figured it out yet with the speech bubbles but I'm making an iPad this is like my 14 year old my son who is turning 14 it's his birthday card and he's a little bit of a gamer he's a little bit loves his iPad so at the moment I'm just working out my measurements on how wide I want my piece of black cardstock for my screen and my iPad. So I've just roughly basically sort of looked at it and said it went, you know what, I want it from this big to this big and those measurements again will be in my blog post. So feel free to pop over there and have a look at that. So there is my screen. I'm so chuffed with this. So we'll rub out our little measurements because some of them I did change that so some of them are going to be visible. I'm going to glue this down to be a little bit roughly in the middle but it, honestly it's going to be a little bit bottom heavy. Sorry about that, my phone. A little bit top heavy I should say. So I'm going to move it down ever so slightly. Let me just shut my phone off. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to figure out my camera. So at the top of your screen on your iPad you have a camera. So I'm going to get a little, I don't know how small it is, but you know for your, your brads and everything else, what I'm going to do is get a little I've worked out sort of measured out roughly where it is and then from the top to bottom I've eyeballed it to see how big it is we're going to use the needle tool to widen that up and I'm not going to put anything black on it my circles I started off with this circle which I don't know how small it is I think it was about roughly a centimeter wide but I decided it was too small so we're going to go for this half an inch and it's just a standard half an inch what I would do differently is I would put some very carefully and just very very slightly I would put some light grey ink around the edges of your button because on mine I do have uh, you know well it's not just mine on iPads these days the newer iPads they have um, like a it's indented slightly and it's a little bit silver around the outside so that way that would stand out a little bit more so that's what I would change there you don't want anything too dark but maybe I don't know just a very light just to give it that shadow sort of thing a little bit of shadow here we have this is text you later this is a stamping up one but what I wanted I'm going to use the 
smiley face and I'm going to use the speech bubbles. Now I do have to re-stamp some of my speech bubbles because the smaller, there's only a small amount that are actually on facing to the right hand side, left hand side. There's one, two, th five facing to the right hand side but only two to the left. So one of my little speech bubbles I've accidentally stamped out the wrong side and I wrote my word in it and then I realized I was like dang damn it but anywho it was one of those it's that bigger one he should be pointing out the other way which is fine we'll deal with it so we're going to stamp that a few more times I do later on stamp another word sentiment because I decided I wanted out of paper rose awesome words I wanted wishing you an incredible birthday that's what I wanted and then I realized it was incredibly and there was no other words that were going to fit so I brought in another stamp set by uniquely creative called sweet sentiment and that's when we changed the word no that was the inside of the card we changed the what did i change the word to i changed the word wishing you a happy birthday but what happened was that the Wishing you an didn't quite fit, a bit of grammar. But honestly, if I did it again, I would mask that out. But it was already stamped, it was already done. So what I did, honestly, I used a little bit of white out. It's for a 14-year-old boy. So that was a little bit disappointing, but, you know, we deal with what we deal with. So... We have, I've stamped out a couple of the, I've stamped out the little smiley face. We first off did some Versifying Clear um, ink and stamped out the background for my little smiley face. And the colour of that was, I've got to look at the right one, Cheerful. And then um, with Versafine Black Onyx Ink, we've stamped out the the rest of the face, the uh, the the mouth, and all that sort of stuff. But I didn't like the first one. I think I pressed a bit too hard, so we did that again. I've used another stamp set called Stampendous Mega Happy, and this had quite a few little small birthday presents. So in one of the presents, one of the speech bubbles, we stamped that out. So we've used one, two, three, altogether about four different stamp sets. So at the moment, I'm just checking to see if I have a hey or have a hello. So none of them do. So I'm going to freehand that in and I'll go over that with a white uh, multi-liner and make sure it's all nice and black and matchy matchy we're now going to go in with some r59 and r46 you could probably just do it straight and not have to worry about using the any shading but you know you know me i go overboard using memento marker just to go around the outside So there's our happy, there's our high, high, and this is where I figure out that my high is just on the wrong area. I decided even though it was correct in the sense of where the text bubbles were, I am going to do a little bit of creative license just to, I don't know, I felt like it was just a bit too sparse in the middle so here I am rewriting my high and we've cut that out and we put the marker around the edge see it's just it's quite big 
and I just decided that it was not going to do. All these are going to be glued down flat because we don't need any dimension on our iPad because it doesn't have any dimension on our iPad. So, so just getting off the excess little bits of glue, just tidying that up a little bit. I still need to go through and tidy up some of the other ones later on anyway, so you'll see it. We're just going down and making sure we're spacing these relatively one after the other so it flows like a conversation. The hi, hey, and then the wishing you happy birthday. At this point, I haven't gotten rid of my N. And I actually don't tweak to this that I still had an N until way after I've actually finished the video and taken my photos and everything. So trust me, it's wishing you a happy birthday right now. So this is where I'm going to space them out a little bit and have them not exactly technically correct on my iPad. But, you know, I made the card. We're going to float with it, peeps. I'm just trying to get off some of the excess glue and using the older baby wipe just to clean that off a little bit off my hands. And that's the front of our card. We're going to glue that down to our card base. Tidy up a little bit of the excess glue even though I took it off I still managed to stuff it all up. Which is pretty cool. That is so cool. Um, I'm, if you can't tell, I'm really stoked with this card, how this card turned out. It's really, really big for a 14 year old, but doesn't matter. Here's my baby, so I mean, I'll probably get in trouble for that, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to glue this all down. I'm going to keep away from my little hole there because I don't want the glue oozing out and then have to try and bloom and clean up some more glue. On the inside of the card we are going to put some, just some paper. This is just some uh, printer paper just to give it a little bit of somewhere to write and I'm going to make a little pocket because I haven't been able to buy him anything so and he wants to save up for a Nintendo Switch so once again I'm just going to eyeball where I want things and put a little mark I will put as I said more details of that in my blog post so you'll have all the information and more photos over there so that will be the first link in the description box to below so please like and subscribe this video it'd be even great if you subscribe to my channel um that way you can and you hit the little if you hit the little bell it will let you know when i upload a video each time because sometimes i have videos already waiting to be down waiting to go waiting to um go live and but I'm in the middle of work so I don't always get to uh, put them onto web pages or Facebook pages or anything so if you like subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell you'll get a notification of when I upload my next video so I decided not to do any glue because I didn't want to run the risk of the glue being seen through the because um, it's just paper and again, I'm going to trim this down, round off the corners, and this time with a little bit of glue, I'm just going to make myself a little pocket. So I can put Bugs Money in the little pocket. Before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So this is where the uniquely sweet sentiment stamp set comes in. So it's got this great happy birthday, or birthday I should say. So I'm just going to stamp that in black versafine and then go through with my happy right smack bang in the middle. And that's going to be pretty much it. So it's it took a little bit of working out, but you're going to benefit from that because I've done the working out. 
but honestly it was a pretty simple card I wanted to be bigger because it was an iPad um, and it's really straightforward you just figure out your dimensions put a couple of square rounded off the, the cardstock and a couple of couple of the panels and done do your sentiments the sentiments are probably the hardest thing of juggling between the different um, stamp sets if that's the font that you wanted as I said I needed to write a hi and hey in my card because I thought a 14 year old boy might say hey rather than hello but that's going to be it so I hope you like it I as I said I got a real kick out of making it and my son um, quite enjoyed it he thought it was rather a bit cool so all the boxes are ticked as far as I'm concerned so I hope you are well I hope you are just doing great take care <laughs>